Hello, this is Jar Jar. We'll be doing a video on how to increase your Wi-Fi signal by uh, up in the TX power. Would like to point out that not all Wi-Fi cards will be capable of doing this. So um, I'll be using an Alpha network card um, for the purpose of this video. All right, first thing we're going to have to do is download the regulatory database. By doing that, we're going to go to kernel.org. I'll provide the description in the link. So we're going to go there now. Once we're there, we're going to want to download the latest wireless RegDB master folder. Um, currently on here at the moment is 2017, the 12th of the 23rd. So we're going to download and extract that right now. Once that's done, you should have a folder like this, um, roughly with the same contents inside. We'll get into a bit more detail of what's going on in there a little bit later. For now, I'm going to quickly show you a temporary way of doing it, um, pretty simple enough. Just to see what you're, what they're set at at the moment, we'll quickly just type in IWconfig. That will show us the TX powers, as you can see right here. You might notice I've got two Wi-Fi cards, the internal one, which is at 15 TX power. That is the max it will go at. Um, it won't go any higher than that. The Wi-Fi, the external one you can see is the TX Power 20. That is the capability to go up to whatever I wish to set it up to, and that's the one you're going to see changing. So we're going to quickly type in if config WLAN 0 down, and then we're going to type in RW Reg Set US. Then we're going to type in RW Reg Git. That will show us the limits to what we can set the TX power up to. As you can see, the max TX is 30. Um, so now we're going to have to increase the TX power up to the limit that we're allowed to, which currently is 30. So we need to type in IWconfig and WLAN 0 TX power, and we want to set it up to 30. Once that's set, um, we can put the Wi-Fi card back up now. So we'll type in if config WLAN up. And now we'll check to see if it's gone up. So we'll type in IW config and that will show us if it's increased. As you can see from there, the external one, the WLAN one, the alpha card is increased up to 30. Um, as expected, the internal one is still set at 15 because it that's the maximum it can achieve so let's say you temporarily set your TX power up but if you restart your computer it will just go back to its default version so now I'm going to show you how to do a more permanent solution um, we're going to be using the file that we downloaded to implement this so the first thing we're going to need to do is open up the terminal we're going to type in cd slash lib slash crda and then we're going to type in ls, um, have a little look in there, and then you see there's a regulatory.bin file. We're going to back that up. Um, we're going to type in mv regulatory.bin, bk regulatory.bin. Now we've got that backed up, we're going to want to go to the directory um, of the file we downloaded. So I'm just going to quickly grab the folder and stick it into the terminal. Oh, quickly got to um, delete the quotes. And now type in ls to view the contents. All right, as you can see in there, there's quite a few files. We only need to edit one of these files, so we're going to quickly back it up. So back up the db text file. We're going to type in cp db text bk db text. Now we're going to want to edit the DB text file, so we're going to open it up. I'm going to use leafpad, so type in leafpad db.txt. In this file, it's um, literally all the restrictions set in here, so um, we're going to modify GB for Great Britain, so we're going to up that to 30, so allow us to have 30 TX when it boots up, and then we're going to change the global one as well which is country zero zero and that will be the default for all so we're going to quickly edit them by going down to gp and we're going to want to edit 
this number here, we're going to turn that into a 30. Now go back to the top um, and edit these numbers here. Now save the file and go to the terminal. Now type in make, we're going to get that turned into the regulatory bin file um, and sign it. Now we've made that, um, we're going to have to get the regulatory bin. I'm going to quickly go into the folder that we downloaded to and drag and drop that into the terminal. Um, we're going to copy that to the file that we edited at the beginning in the libcdr file. So we're going to replace the regulatory file in there with the one we just created. So we're going to have CP for copy and the location of the regulatory file we just created and to the location that we want to move it to which is slash lib slash crda slash regulatory dot bin so we'll be replacing that now one more last thing to do um, we're gonna copy so we're gonna type in cp dollar sign user dot key dot pub dot pem and then uh, space slash lib slash crda slash pub keys slash now all you've got left to do is restart your computer and it will always boot back up into the tx powers that you have set thank you hope you enjoyed the video and take care